all right so hi guys and welcome back to my channel my name is timmy banjo if you don't know who i am i am timmy banjo that means it's your first time here and i'd like you to get familiar with the subscribe button and you know get together talk hang out the subscribe button is going to introduce you to the notification bell so get familiar with the subscribe button so today please ignore my lashes i'm having a bad lash day so it wasn't just doing it for me i'm going to manage it like that so everybody wants to know what happened what magic went down <laughs> i'm going to be spilling everything and how everything went first of all i think i'm addicted to keto it's like my fast i don't know it's like my you know when you are crying like a baby is crying and they need their mommy i run back to keto almost immediately when i notice that i'm already gaining weight i run back to keto almost immediately so before i started the keto diet i made sure i was going to do keto diet is from five to ten carbs so i made sure i was going to do it from like five um less than five uh, not five to ten i'm going to do it from less than five so i've been trying to keep my carbs from um, one to five grams that means i'm having almost zero carbs which is so fast and that's that's why i lost so much weight in the space of seven days i'm telling you seven good days i lost about four kg and this is my fastest so far just because i know the inside out of keto i know how it works and everything okay so when i wake up in the morning i would have my lemon water this is water i soaked overnight with the um, lemon zest in ordinary water i like to have this first thing in the morning just to um boost i said boost just to boost my metabolism and this also makes me eat less it just reduces your um appetite throughout the day You don't need to go in with so much apple cider vinegar you just need a little a little um quantity or uh, a little quantity of vinegar and this is about half a cover of vinegar into my lemon water so this just helps me you know maintain my sanity while i continue my intermittent fasting and it tastes really good This doesn't break your fast in any way it just helps you um, reduce your appetite and speeding is speeding speeding it hastens your um, metabolism that's when you eat your food digest quickly and you remain very fulfilled and more productive throughout the day so I will recommend you soak this overnight and when you wake up in the morning first thing in the morning this was in the fridge or freezer so it's cold so that makes it like a soft drink for me i don't know so i like to mix my ordinary water with lemon or lemon zest i just like to soak it inside the water and put in the fridge and whenever i'm, I'm thirsty or i finish eating my food I drink that and we all know the benefits of lemon lemon helps with your digestion and if you really want your stomach to like disappear not disappear but like go down dramatically or drastically you have to take lemon seriously you have to take apple, apple cider vinegar seriously lemon also helps with your skin it makes your skin really look nice and you haven't seen my why the secret why my skin keeps glowing i will leave a link up here so you can check that out too so make sure you include lemon in your in your diet and it helps with so much and it helps to also detox your body and make you look really really good and, and lemon also aids with digestion so food doesn't stay in your stomach for too long and it just keeps in the nutrients you need and take out the the things you don't need instead of those things remaining stored in your body so add lemon to your diet or your drinking water all right so after about an hour and a half i like to have my breakfast this is about 18 hours of intermittent fasting and this is leftover from salad i had previous day let me just zoom into that okay so i'm just going to add more lettuce to this
and i'm going to go in with a lot of fat and that is from my mayonnaise and this fat just makes you full throughout the day gives you energy and as a replacement of carbohydrates you need a lot of fat in your diet so i'm just going to go in so much this salad is going to be really creamy so this is what my breakfast is going to be like and this would keep me full for about four to five hours and the time now is 10 a.m so i'm not starving myself i'm not punishing myself in any way i'm doing very fine i'm only on a diet and it's with discipline high highly disciplined diet so i still take my breakfast i take snacks i take um my lunch but my lunch is my dinner because it's like a late lunch slash early dinner so i eat twice a day i'm planning on doing omad sometime that's one meal a day i'm planning on doing that sometime and i'll let you know if i eventually do it because that one is also very efficient for weight loss and longevity long life longevity if you ask me so i take my breakfast i take my lunch and late dinner and i also snack mind you you have to take a lot of water do away with the soda do away with the juice do away with almost anything that has sugar so please do away with the sugar do away with plenty of carbs you need little carbs more protein and more vegetables even your vegetables has to be like go down a little bit because vegetable has starch and they also have carb um carbohydrates if you don't know your vegetables have carbohydrates so for you to know if you are doing anything right i think 14 days is enough for you to realize what you are doing right or what you are doing wrong so if you decide to go on a diet do it for a minimum of 21 days and within 14th day you will already be seeing the difference for you to be encouraged enough to proceed to the 21 for you to proceed to the um second uh, the third week that's like the 20th to the 21st day so yeah 14 days is enough make sure you are consistent and you do not get distracted also don't load yourself with negativity when you're on the internet don't be looking at pages that have chocolates cakes don't be looking at pages that have ice cream and so many things that will be giving you unnecessary cravings and then you'll be like mm, just today you know if you're on a low carb diet you can afford to cheat on like being on a keto diet you can't cheat no cheat days so don't look at those things make sure you look at things of positivity things that will um encourage you to continue your diet look at fitness pages look at healthy meals look at um healthy lifestyle people who go on diets all those before and after pictures that um you see on the internet those things will inspire you and will want to make you keep on with your diet make you keep on with your your um the, make you those things will make you consistent with your diet and will make you do the right thing because if you are loading yourself with so much negativity before you need to become your reality so make sure you are you stay positive and load yourself with so much positivity and look at positive things so you don't you know go astray you don't commit a sin <laughs> Also, I didn't even mean to start the keto diet. So if you want to know the reasons why I started the keto diet again, I'm going to leave the link up here. So you can click on that link and make sure you watch that video. So find out the reasons why I decided to start the keto diet again. Okay, so for my snack, sometimes I just like to have it really light because it's not like I'm hungry, but I just need to chew on something. Sometimes I have coconut and granite, and this is zero carb coconut is a good source of fiber and it has oil in it like we all know our coconut oil also we have or oh, i have granite here which is a good source of fat and i don't know about the fiber but these are good snacks for me So for my early dinner stroke, um, late breakfast, I'm having 
okra soup and i don't know if you can see but i like to chop my onions big like this and it isn't that much because it's left over from yesterday so i have here turkey i have chicken and one catfish here smoked catfish and also i have underneath palm oil swimming there and remember you have to load your food with um what's it called fat so this makes hunger cravings a thing of the past so once your diet is full of fat on a keto diet not on a low carb diet once it's full of fat um hunger just becomes a thing of the past and you'll be fine so be sure to drink a lot of water after every meal i don't even need to stress like force myself to drink water after every meal the test just hits and normally when you're on a keto diet you're always thirsty but then if you're on a normal carb or low carb diet make sure you try as much as possible to drink water you can find something to induce yourself to drink water so you will remain hydrated throughout your diet and my water is always lemon infused and sometimes i just like to add like two drops of apple cider vinegar or half a cover of apple cider vinegar in this but i don't think i can't remember if i put apple cider vinegar in this water but yeah this is how i like to drink my water okay all right i think that's it for this video i hope i've been able to enlighten you enough about how i was able to lose the excess weight in my tummy area and right now i'm left with fupa and that is so annoying like who knows how to lose the fupa it just stays there if you have any ideas for me something to try meanwhile i did no exercise I don't like to exercise i just like taking walks but you see all the gym jumping up mm -mm. i can take walks i can skip but i didn't do any of that oh i i walk sometimes but i didn't skip no exercise so i think we've come to the end of this video that's pretty much everything i did and i hope i was detailed enough if you have any questions for me please do show um, Make sure you leave them in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear them. And if you can enlighten me on how I can improve my diet, please enlighten me also. And if you want to know what I eat in depth of what I eat and my weight loss journey, my weight loss progress and everything, please make sure you do mention that in the video. And that means you have subscribed and you have clicked on the notification bell. Remember to give this video a thumbs up because it will mean a lot to me. Give this video a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts and i don't know share like subscribe i hope everything is in order and i would love to see you in my next video bye everyone and stay blessed and most importantly stay safe all right stay safe i would love to see you on my next video bye guys Mwah.